Hey guys, this is Vol. This is Game of Starcraft Brood War. It's between Strelok, my uh, favorite foreign Terran player, as you guys all know if you are familiar with my Starcraft commentaries. Haven't done a replay on him uh, and commentary on him for a while, but uh, saw this one on GhostGamers.net and I realized I had to do it. I just have been uh, getting around to it. It's a little bit old now. Um, his opponent is the Zerg at the top right, uh, top left, sorry, here. Uh, that's T.O.T. Norgram. And uh, don't know a whole lot about this guy. Obviously, he's from TOT, so he's uh, he's in a pretty good gaming clan as far as foreign clans go. And uh, yeah, here we are in Colosseum, sending out the Overlord, Purple Overlord, down to the bottom left, which is the wrong direction, but uh, obviously he's only got a 33% uh, chance of getting it right straight off the cuff. Uh, Strelok is the orange Terran at the top right, and uh, Colosseum, quite a large map, it's the, uh, it's the map which has this little entrance here, as you can see Strelok's blocking it off with some Blight Depot, it's uh, something I definitely like to do. Um, the one, uh, as you guys have probably seen, and if you, if you remember my older commentaries, is that uh, the Zerg player can put a Sunken Colony there and, and Sun Crush you, but uh, the counter that is to put the, the bunker on the ridge, so I don't really think that walling in is such a bad idea uh, if you know what to do, and Strelok obviously knows uh, what to do. As, uh, as an experienced Terran player, and uh, sending a couple of SVs out here, looking maybe to wall in the rest of the... Uh, no, uh, one of them's going to add a, a barracks, and the other two, moving out to kill the Sunken Colony, that is very cool. Um, that means he doesn't even have to worry about the, the Sunk Rush uh, with uh, dropping a barracks there, and... Uh, well, um, very interesting. I guess he really expected Norgrim to go for it. Norgrim on the other hand is going for the 12-hatch. Uh, no spawning pool as yet. Now scanning with the drone. Uh, very interesting. So I guess, I guess, um, I mean, this prevents Strelok from being harassed by uh, by Norgrim just faking a, a, a sunk a sunk rush or anything by building it there. But the timing is perfect. Look at that. It's, the, uh, it's killed, and all the uh, creep gets uh, wiped out. And easy as just to put a D dip on there, finish the uh, block, and it's just a matter of uh, of, of Strelok moving out now to scout. So uh, very interesting to decide decision on opening. He's gone for uh, a quick refinery, so I guess I guess that's why he want, wanted the wall in so badly, and that's why he wanted to prevent that uh, particular possibility of a sunk rush, because he was going for a tech build, and uh, it, it starts to make sense to me now. Norgrim, on the other hand, uh, got his pulling pull down, sending out uh, another drone over here. Looks like maybe going for a th uh, third hatchery at 300. Yes, he is. Uh, second hatchery nearly finished over here. And uh, Norgrim uh, finding the, the destroyed uh, Sunken Colony there and realizing the wall is, is blocked, so he has no idea what Strelok's doing. For all he knows, Strelok may be expanding, but Strelok is in fact not doing that. He's going straight into factory, getting ready for a tech build. So really interested to see how this turns out. Looks like he's taken a couple of SCVs off gas. He's only gone for a little bit of early gas uh, so far. I guess that's just so he can build a factory. Uh, he's probably going to be saving up to uh, build second command center, my guess is. I guess the factory is just for early Vulture Harass, and then he goes for the commands, and then he puts the SCVs back on gas, and uh, does it that way. Pretty economical build, uh, well, efficient build was the term that I was after. It's, it's not economical in the sense that he's making a lot of money out of it. But uh, Strelok, on the other hand, knows exactly what Norgrim is doing. He sees the three hatcheries, he sees uh, no Zerglings being produced yet so far. Only we've got the, the, the single uh, pair of Zerglings being uh, produced here at Norgrim's main. So Strelok knows that he's got quite a while before any kind of um, harass shows up and from the Mutalisks, and there's the uh, the lair going down now. It's a bit of a late lair uh, in comparison to any kind of two-hatch muta builds or anything like that. So Strelok does have some time. Got an SCV out here, not too sure what he's doing. I guess it's just to scout, make sure that uh, that third gas isn't, isn't taken uh, too quickly. And as predicted, Strelok's got the command center back down. He's going for mines, uh, he's not, not, not mines, so he's going for vultures with uh, ion thruster upgrade, uh, so a lot quicker. His vultures will be a lot quicker is what I meant to say there, and he's got all of his SCVs back on gas as predicted, and looking around to see whether he, he wants to build a, a starport or something like that, I guess not. Just going straight in for vultures, and uh, he knows that the Zerg player hasn't decided to defend at all. I think uh, because... Strelok knows, this is a mind game here, but Strelok knows that the Zerg player is thinking, oh, Strelok's gone for a fast expansion, he's not going to be harassing me early on with a, a, a sunken uh, break. So I don't need any sunken colonies, but little does he know that uh, that Vultures are actually on the way, and uh, after this Iron Thruster upgrade finishes, uh, Vultures, if they make it inside the Zerg base, he's going to have nothing to do. The Zerg Spies only just started now, and no sunken colonies whatsoever. We've only got a couple of Zerglings. The, uh, 
Uh, and he's just pumping drones. The Strela can see that. He, he's, he can see uh, drones just being pumped straight up. And we've got a single Zerg Zergling outside the uh, Terran base. Zergling will see the Vultures as they come up here, and, and there you go. Uh, so that's only going to give him a tiny amount of time to place down a single colony. He's got the first creep colony up. It's going to uh, be upgraded to a sunken straight away. Trying to block, block with drones now. And here comes Strela with speed upgraded Vultures. Is he going to be able to make it through? Yes, he is. Oh! That was uh, a, a fatal play uh, missed up there by uh, Norgrim, just not really achieving anything with the, with the drone block at all. And Strela laying waste to this economy. All the, all the time has been uh, pumping drones, and now it's totally counteracted by the fact that Strelok's getting in and getting a number of kills here. Uh, two, vol two kills on that one, two kills on that one, pretty much two each so far. It's going to be rising to more like four, four to six. And oh, this is horrendous! Drones trying to surround the uh, the vultures right now, and Strelok's still holding on to a couple, and he's got one left alive. Is it going to be killed by that last struggling? <laughs> still hasn't been killed yet. Norgrim just not managing to pull himself together here. This lone vulture has six kills on it. Plenty of zerglings being created, and this is terrible because Norgrim doesn't need these zerglings uh, for anything else but killing that that uh, last vulture. And uh, he's, his economy is actually in quite a shocking way now. He's got quite a lot of drones, but he needed a lot of more drones, a lot more drones based on that economy pump. And uh, now it's just a matter of, uh, of building mutilus. He's going to have less mutilus because of the number of zerglings he created there. And uh, Strelok is ready for him back at home. In the, in the meantime, that was nice multitasking there, by the way. While you saw him um, microing the vultures, I wasn't showing you what was happening back at home. And what was happening was the fact that Strelok was getting ready to build uh, with missile turrets. And he's got a lot of Goliaths. He's got the Goliath range upgrade being produced. Uh, Mutilus, uh, quite a long way away so far. Um, hasn't quite managed to get them out yet. And uh, still waiting for them to show up. Starport going down now, that will be useful for plus two weapons. Strelok is already nearly halfway through plus one weapons, and uh, that will help us cause quite a lot. Uh, his build is looking really good. Here come the Mutalists at long last, and they find themselves met with a, 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 a turret every which way, and Goliath just moving in. Pretty comfortable hit defense here by Strelok, not really having to worry, worry about too much as far as uh, the Mutalist Caras is concerned, and it's just going to be a matter of, of waiting until he's got enough uh, is enough as that he needs to uh, make a push. Zerglings really aren't going to achieve anything out there. He has gone for the uh, hatcher. I'm not really sure whether Strelok scouted this with a uh, an SCV. I know that he did have an SCV further up at this location here, where the natural third location is the gas. But Norgrim's taking this down here. Uh, he's going to need to, uh, some time to get uh, to to get resources out of that that third gas. Not really going to help him if, if Strelok pushes out and takes it straight away. Strelok's not actually too far away from pushing out, and given that the Zerg doesn't have too much forces on the ground, he's only got these uh, Mutalists, and Strelok's really reinforced himself with, with more uh, missile turrets in the, in the meantime. Second armor going down, plus one weapon's nearly finished. I like it how he's got that floating engineering bay just to annoy the uh, Mutalists, make it harder for him to target that missile turret underneath. And uh, yeah, wow, just looking back at response to what we're doing over here, it's going for plus uh, one carapace uh, in terms of flyer carapace. He's got the Hydralis Den. Uh, nothing too much else happening apart from waiting for this, uh, this hatchery to go out. Looks like he's sending some drones down here in anticipation. Really wants to get that, uh, that gas rolling. Morgan really able, uh, not able to get the job done uh, just outside of this expansion. Uh, Strelok's got just enough missile towers to defend here. And of course, if he needs to, we can bring over the Goliaths. But uh, I don't think we're too far away from attack now. It's just upgrading uh, mines. He's going for uh, vessels. And uh, having one science vessel is a really good way of defending your Terran base from Mutalisks uh, when you're leaving with Goliaths. Because you only need...